uh, in continuation of my discussions uh, regarding regulatory frameworks for uh, investments, today we'll discuss the regulators requirements for the investment rules. Anyone interested to invest in financial institutions, funds, mutual funds or any kind of funds, what things they should keep in mind, what rules, regulation, infrastructure uh, from a regulator perspective is required. Before we discuss investment, we should be very clear that we should have a base knowledge of investment law and we should have a base knowledge of trust law. This is all a combined discussions. In general, we have to see that there are different stakeholders like fund managers, uh, auditors and there are corporate bodies who are involved in those. So these regulations will be devoid on them. In the start of our discussions, we will see that uh, if you are a franchiser, if you deposit money and uh, you have a clearing services, your deals in options, you are a dealer or you are an insurance company or you have an Islamic window, so what kind of things we should have uh, with you? We'll discuss certain type of funds, then how fund operates, how we make the funds. Some uh, investors, they want to give service to fund, administration to fund. Someone wants to create a fund. So what are the different requirements for each purpose? This is we need to discuss in detail. Um, how to administer a fund, we, we should see what is the compliances. I'm going to discuss in detail the compliance related to fund management, fund administration. What is the requirements for external fund managers when you are not listed in this country so, and you are coming away from some other place. So you will be treated as a foreign fund. Uh, what, are, what are the requirements to register the fund? And what are the other regulatory requirements? This is I will discuss now. Moreover, we will discuss that in general, like when you think about a fund, what is the organizational structure of a fund, and who is the decision maker, what things we have to do, what is our rights, and what are our, our obligations, what we are accountable for. We have to see that what is the fund property, is there any conflict of interest, which we need to disclose, how we value the funds, if it is a listed uh, public unit, so how it is going to be handled. In general, like how to do a board resolution, how many resolutions we should have, uh, what is pro proxy, what is elections, what is a resolution, these kind of all corporate governance tools we will discuss today. Uh, we, will do, we, sh we should discuss the capital requirements because Every regulator made uh, certain categories and each category has its own regulations, own requirements of uh, capital, which uh, we should be very clear. Uh, part of our discussion is uh, in general terms we can discuss what are the fee charges and other things we have to keep in mind. Fund is a sensitive thing, it has to be taken care uh, because it's the money of investor. And from a regulatory point of view, we should see that uh, what is the fund accounting and uh, how to prepare the funds. What is the role of auditors? There must be an auditor for the fund, how, what he wants to see and what is his requirements. What is his obligation from a regulatory point of view? Uh, there should be a system of periodic reporting. This is we'll discuss that what is that system, what are the formats of these reports, this is in detail we will discuss. Surely we are going to discuss the different type of domestic funds when it comes uh, to the public funds, what is the difference between domestic funds and international funds, foreign funds.